Oh no, I got an objection. I'm just gonna give up and get off the phone. Do you know that the average conversation, a sales conversation, you're gonna hear seven no's before you get to a yes? And if you just thought about objections as you haven't gotten to the bottom of what whoever you're talking to, your client or lead, what their biggest, whether it's a fear or insecurity or hesitation about purchasing, what if you just didn't take it personal when they quote unquote said no or they brought up an, an objection? Sometimes you have to get past the BS objections that usually the first couple that people say aren't actually the real reason why they're giving you an objection. So this is why you need to be really, really good at not being afraid. You need to lean into the objection. Sometimes that means answering it. Sometimes that means addressing and redirecting and realizing that what they say first, second, third, fourth time isn't usually the bottom of it. So the better you can get to the bottom of it and really hear what they're saying, not just the words that are coming out of their mouth, but their tone or, okay, if they say objection as well, I just, I'm afraid, you know, interest rates and the things I'm hearing on the news, da, da, da. Okay, maybe it's that they have some, that they're afraid of the unknown. Okay, so if someone's talking about the news or they're talking about, well, I'm just not sure what's gonna, what's gonna happen with, with prices, they're afraid of the unknown. And so what would you do from there? You say, hey, you know what? Totally get that. There's lots of noise. There's lots of noise in the news. But guess what? Investing in real estate is a really good thing to do. So what would have to happen in order to help you get there? Because what I'm hearing from you is that you want to make this decision. You want to start building wealth for your family or you want to move into a property and start gaining some equity on that. So what would it, what would it take for you? Because this is a good decision, we just have to figure out for you and your personal situation what that would look like and help them problem solve. So think of, think of you as their partner in this, not as a salesperson on the other end of the table, but as someone that's next to you. And how would you help someone across the river? How would you help someone over a hurdle? You'd get right next to them. You'd figure out maybe what their limitation is. Maybe it's a limitation in their mind. Maybe it's a physical limitation. And you would help them. So think about helping them, hearing them, seeing them, and feeling where they're at and addressing that. When you get to the bottom of it and you get comfortable with handling objections, you're gonna close more deals.